Hello, this is Game Week 28, and welcome to The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Pumpkin King Review. Definitely, I had a fun time playing this game, even with that little week off and sound problems at the end. Besides the whole recording mumble jumble, the game itself was very, very fun. Now, of course, you know that this is a prequel to the actual movie, which is an inter interesting idea. I, there's really no point, to be honest. I mean, everybody loves the movie by, on its own, right? But it's still kind of cool to have a game and to have it be a prequel to see how everybody knows each other and all that kind of stuff. Now, in this game, besides the regular game, there's also mini games and uh, there's things to collect. But luckily, it's not an overhaul of collecting, which gets on the uh, point of annoyance. Now, the main point in this game is Halloween Town gets in shambles. You're going to find out what exactly is going on, especially since you're the Pumpkin King. Halloween's coming up, your favorite holiday, and you're wondering why is it getting ruined by some guy with some bugs. So eventually you find out that, of course, it's Oogie, and then you figure out where their whole rivalry comes along. However, um... This game does things differently. In some ways, it's kind of like a Metroid where you gotta s search like a whole bunch of rooms. Search a whole bunch of rooms in a big area and try to find, you know, whatever the heck you're trying to find. But in other areas, it's more of like a Legend of Zelda maybe kind of game. But I'd probably go more towards Metroid. You basically go to each, to a couple different areas to trying to find your way where way around the level without of course um dying that's one thing and finding different kinds of weapons that will help you along your path like a bat boomerang a pumpkin bomb a f special fire power your dog zero and a frog gun now you get other things too like being able to climb up walls um being Riding these little snake guys, for example. Being able to jump off of bugs. but And it's pretty fun, because there's about five... Um, let's see, one, two, three, four... Uh, five, six different areas. And each area is honestly unique. And within those areas, there's actually even more uniqueness beyond that. When you go to the graveyard the first time, for example, it's just a regular kind of graveyard -y kind of feel. When you come to it later, it actually gets way different. Um, I believe it becomes more of an ice level, if I'm thinking of the right level. But then again, remember, this is not supposed to be professional. <laughs> so, let's just talk about the different aspects of this game. Now, gameplay-wise, the game is actually fun. Everything works fairly well. The jumping's pretty good, the grabbing's fairly good. And everything works fairly decent, but there is a couple issues. One thing is sometimes Jack, because he constantly runs, sometimes he just runs a little bit too fast that you go flying off the side of something. Now don't get me wrong, it's not a big deal. You usually could save yourself right away. But it is kind of annoying when you're supposed to be going a certain way and trying not to lose that much health, especially later on in the game. Another problem he has is grabbing. Even though his grabbing does work, sometimes he just doesn't want to grab whatever the heck you're trying to grab. Um, it's not so bad because you can get health back quite quickly, so if you hurt yourself, you should be fine. But, there's just times throughout that you're just like wishing he would actually grab a part of the wall that you want him to grab. <laughs> Another problem is there's this, there's only like one section where this actually happens. But there's a couple areas where you have to do the same kind of technique. Especially, like, mostly later in the game. There's a part where you have to wall jump. And when you wall jump, then you have to j wall jump to the other side or actually to another platform. But when you wall jump, you sometimes don't do the left or the right, whichever way, <clears throat> whichever way you're wall jumping. Jack doesn't seem to want to do it right and sometimes he'll just fall. 
which will keep you at that spot in the game for like hours on end trying to get him just to jump back and forth. And those are the kind of problems that persist in this game. They're just little problems like that that just mainly make a certain section that shouldn't be too bad really annoying. Here's another example, the bugs. Sometimes you won't jump high enough. So it like leaves you to fall and fall all the way down even if you didn't mean for that to happen. It's just like little things like that where it's where you're sort of saying to yourself, you wanted me to do this, so why did you make it so like overly complicated just to do the certain process that you wanted me to do in the first place? But luckily, other th than those problems, there's really nothing that bad in here. Everything's like a typical kind of game that you would, like, typical kind of adventure game that you would think of. Spikes, enemies, different items, lots of things to collect, but not overly collecting. And a decent enough story to just keep you going. The story's not the main point in this game, but the music's good. The s everything else, the art style's pretty nice. And the gameplay itself is not that bad. I would give the gameplay an 8.5 out of 10. The art, or graphics, whatever you want to call them, I'd give that a, a, a 8.5 out of 10. I would give the um, story um, probably 7.8 out of 10. It's not the best story in the world, but it isn't that bad. You definitely kind of get into it, especially if you know the uh, the movie story. You really you like like it, probably. But definitely, you're not really playing it for the story. You're just playing it for the Halloween Town atmosphere, and it's definitely done a good job with that. Overall, I'd give this game probably an um, a legitimate 8.5 out of 10. It's not a bad game. There's fun things about it, but there is just a little bit of annoyances that keep it from getting a higher score. However, it will keep you going for a long time, so remember that. <clears throat> and I did have fun, even with all them recording problems. <clears throat> so thank you guys for watching this review. <coughs> Sorry about that. This review. And um, I will be back with an upload. With an upload about an update for my channel very, very soon. Thank you guys for watching.